Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your HTML emails out of Figma into your active campaign account. Um, so the first thing we need to do to get started is jump into Figma and go to the Figma community, search for the word Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y and under the plugins tab you'll see Emailify pop up. All you need to do is click on this install button on the right hand side and you'll be ready to go. So now we can jump back into our Figma file, right click anywhere, go down to plugins and then click on the Emailify plugin. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we just installed. Um, so in this tutorial, I've already created an email design using the Emailify uh, plugin. If you haven't already done that, you might wanna check out one of our other YouTube videos which goes through this in detail. Um, but for today's tutorial, I'm just gonna assume you've already got your email designed using the Emailify plugin and we're just going to be exporting that out into our active campaign account. Um, so to get started doing that, we just click on the export button in the plugin header. And by default, it's going to upload or download rather um, a package of HTML files to your computer. Um, but for today, we want to upload this to uh, active campaign, which is an email service provider. So instead of doing HTML, I'm going to click on the drop down, scroll down to the upload to platform group. And today I'm going to click on the active campaign option. So I've just clicked on active campaign and you can see down here, it's just changed to show these two input fields. And um, there's a little link over here that takes you to the page on how to get your URL and uh, active campaign API key. Um, but I'll show you how to do that in this video now as well. Um, so all I've done is I've gone to my browser and logged into my active campaign account. Um, so you can log into your account. And once you are logged in, all you need to do is click on the settings button down here. And then after you've clicked settings, you want to scroll down to this developer menu item on the left hand side here and click on that. And when that page loads, you'll see this developer page with a box called API access. Um, so these are the two fields that we need to copy. So I'm going to grab my URL. So I'm going to highlight that um, active campaign URL, which has my account name and this little API dash us1.com. So I'm copying that going back to my Figma plugin and pasting that on the left hand side here in the URL input. So I've pasted that in, jump back into Active Campaign, and I'm also going to grab my API key. So I'm going to highlight that entire API key, copy that, jump back into Figma, and I'm going to paste that one into the right hand side, which is the API key input. So I'm going to paste that, and now we're good to go. We've got our Active Campaign URL, and we've got our Active Campaign. API key. So these are going to be unique to your account. So just make sure you grab them from your uh, developer page under the settings menu item. Okay, so we've got those two things in there now. And all we need to do is make sure we're happy with our email. So I've just got the one email for today. I'm happy with my subject line and the design. So I'm ready to go. All I need to do is click on this upload to active campaign button. So I'm going to click that now. This is now exporting the HTML. It's generating all the HTML automatically. It's exporting all of the images from the email. Um, it's going to upload all of those. And then when it's done, it's going to send that email up to our active campaign account. Um, so it's done now. It's telling us that our active campaign templates have been uploaded and we can look at them by logging to active campaign account, clicking on campaigns and then clicking on manage templates. So let's do that now. I'm just going to swap back into my active campaign account. On the left hand side here, I'm going to go all the way down to campaigns, this little menu icon with the envelope on it. So I've clicked on campaigns. And now I'm going to go to the left hand side and click on manage templates. Um, so I'm just waiting for the page to refresh again. There we go. So I'm under campaigns now. And now I just want to click on the manage templates uh, menu item on the left hand side here. So I'm going to click on that. And once that loads, we should see our email. So there we go. Uh, this is the email that we just uploaded a moment ago from Figma. Um, so I can actually go ahead and click on that. I just click on this little edit button and that should take me to my email that's just been uploaded. So we should be able to have a look at it uh, in the preview. So it's just loading up and there we go. We can see on the left hand side here is all of our HTML. So this is what was uh, generated and then uploaded via the Emailify Figma plugin. So we sent it directly from Figma over to Active Campaign, And this is all the code on the left here. And then on the right hand side, uh, we've also got our preview. 
So this is all the rendered HTML uh, from the left-hand side getting rendered. Um, so it's looking great. It's looking as we'd expect. And all of our images are there, all of our uh, links, all of our rich text, and everything's looking really good. Um, so you can make changes to that if you wanted to on the left-hand side here, but um, for today, I'm just going to leave it because it's looking uh, exactly how I wanted it from my original Figma design over here. Um, so that's basically it. You can you can either save that if you've made changes or just jump back to the, uh, the, the campaign panel. So I'm just going to click on previous there. And uh, that's just one template, obviously. If you have more in your uh, design or in your Figma file, you can select multiple designs and upload them and that'll up actually upload... Uh, multiple custom templates as well and um, it gives them a little timestamp just so you can see uh, which which email template was uploaded when um, so if you want to create multiple versions or if you want to update them uh, this will just kind of let you know which one was uploaded at what time and what date and you can get rid of those by uh, clicking on the little settings icon here and clicking on the delete button if you want to remove one so you can just delete that template if you want to uh, and there we go um, but yeah, as I said, you can you can basically keep exporting these emails um, as many times as you want with uh, the plugin and it'll just uh, upload them one after the other uh, as you'd expect. So that's it for today. That's the entire tutorial of how to get your HTML emails out of uh, Figma to ActiveCampaign directly if you're using ActiveCampaign as your uh, email service provider. And this should just make it a lot easier to streamline, streamline that uh, template creation process rather than having to uh, manually kind of copy paste things, upload images, swap out image URLs and uh, import the template manually. You can do it all with one click uh, directly from Figma to ActiveCampaign. Um, so thank you as always for watching and we'll be back very soon with more Figma tutorials uh, just like this one.